Philosophy of Asset Ownership Mind wins with time and time wins everyone. What is the meaning of asset ownership? Someone never dies. What should an influential person do? Observation The average age of the representatives of the list richest people according to Forbes magazine approximately 50 years old. 10 years go by a new list is being compiled and the average age practically does not change. And so from generation for generation, it is known that 80% of assets owned by 20% of the people. If you spend study about the age of these people, then most likely it will also turn out that this approximately 50 years old. And over the years, this value most likely relatively constant. There is nothing surprising. Naturally, someone gets old, dies, and his assets go to the young heirs. Those who do not possess the skills and abilities of their predecessors, with one speed or another lose those assets. Human society generates new effective people in whose hands assets are concentrated. Therefore, the average age does not change. Looking at this movement of property, you involuntarily come to the thought. But it's not people who own assets. On the contrary, assets choose effective owners for themselves. The man thinks he owns asset, but in practice, this asset owns him, uses his energy, organizational skills, and entrepreneurial talents in order to develop, grow larger, and become more powerful. For example, money, if it has value, concentrates the energy of people. Therefore, a large number of money is not a great opportunity for consumption, but a great responsibility to people. And if you don't share this axiom, then sooner or later the assets will leave you, you will lose, you will lose, you will give in more smart and successful. Money is generally a dangerous substance if it turns out to be in people with an undeveloped mentality, it can play a cruel joke with them. Just watch the fate of some winning a large amount in the lottery. In general, owning great value is not an easy thing. One must possess certain qualities and competencies to add value to assets, and keep them in their ownership. That is why something that comes by accident or is stolen so quickly is lost by people who are not mentally ripe for holding assets of high value. In the world there are at first glance seeming chaotic processes, temptations, senseless and illiterate spending, wars, etc. of redistribution ownership from inefficient and weak owners to efficient and strong ones. These processes are similar wins and the larger and more valuable the asset, the greater the pressure of these wins is experienced by the owner. Yes, and power wins is constantly growing. The laws of biology are the same for everyone sooner or later a person leaves this world, including the world's real assets. The attempts of the Egyptian pharaohs to grab something valuable into the next world turned out to be unsuccessful. On this occasion, one recalls the joke of one of the members of the board of directors of the criminal code Arsager Inus a side note to our report on real estate values and volumes of real estate. We talked about the standard of living space per person in European countries, 40 square meters, and the USA, 70 square meters, 22 predicting the movement towards these indicators in our country. He reasonably remarked, in the end, everyone ends a property of two square meters. Whether we like it or not, sooner or later countries, businesses, and any other property will be controlled by next generation. Assumption then a reasonable question arises. What is the goal pursued by some people who, to the last, select property, real estate, securities, and other assets for themselves? What is the meaning of such a life? Obviously, the owner will not be able to take this with him to the next world, and if he does not bring up the following generation or does not create a system that creates effective heirs, then the value of the created or collected will quickly dissolve in time and space. Interestingly, such consequences will become clear order during his lifetime, and this is unlikely to add optimism to him. The term immortality exists for property rather than for the owner. Therefore, the infinite accumulation of property in one's possession is meaningless. The silly slogan, you can't have too much money, 
often proclaimed by those who do not and probably will not have a lot of money and assets. People who believe that happiness is proportional to the value of assets are greatly mistaken, and those who participate in constant race to increase this value of their property, they are simply deceived. Again, we repeat, the greater the amount of money or assets in possession slash management, the greater the responsibility of a person in front of society. It's amazing to see a rich man who, at the age of 60, went berserk, regardless of principles, seizes or even steals property, money or other valuables. Is he going to live forever? What wants to achieve such a person? Be happy? But by this age, he should already understand that the number billions in property will not affect his standard of living. Not to mention that very soon will care more about whether he went to the toilet in the morning and not about whether his billion has grown to a hundred million or no. At the end of life, a person has completely different joys than an endless increase in numbers on the account. Extremely illogical, or rather meaningless, is the behavior of a person who crushes everything under himself. Such a movement is inherently dead end. The assets will outlive you anyway. System or environment, not generating leaders, responsible owners, tailored for one, albeit effective manager, is a dead end, the path to collapse. It is impossible not to understand this and be happy with such a development events. The same goes for the government of the country. After all, the country is a large diverse asset. And if she is dear to your heart and you want to die with a calm soul, and not with the feeling that you are parting with huge wealth, then it is necessary to create an environment that will generate capable owners and managers from generation to generation. Businesses will be developed by different generations of owners, but at the same time times will be successful. Interestingly, the way of doing business in the form of a public joint stock company, this is a great help in solving issues of endless development and unlimited time existence. This form is a brilliant invention of mankind, allowing business to live much longer than human lifespan. Both majority and minority owners will change, be born and die, but all together and separately they will create each in its own time. The behavior of the majority owners, or persons in control of large blocks of shares, should be dictated by the desire to bring benefit to the business and all its shareholders, high-level corporate governance, which is why it is especially important in the creation and implementation of laws within joint stock law and private property are reasonableness and common sense. People who think in such categories can be called fathers of the nation. Do you want to leave a mark, become for the business of life? Create development conditions and iterate a system of improvements, grow a generation, which will grow the next, even more developed and competitive. Our strategy. We do not expect to re-educate the current generation that owns slash manages assets. Should it should be noted that after the age of 40, a person practically loses the skill of learning. There are, of course, exceptions, but they are rare. The mentality of many representatives of the generation that is, Ural, is already finally formed. They have the only true competitive technologies in their opinion dot their enrichment, and their life principles were not formed in the best period of the history of our country, when the principle was put aside in the subcortex. Theft, corruption is the only way to become rich and wealthy. But we know that they will inevitably be replaced by others it is they who will steer, and they should have different mentality. It is important that in principle information about the correct actions appears in space dot and deeds. It doesn't matter if it is supported by the current generation, environment, from which, it would seem, now and everything depends. This generation will pass anyway, but the right principles will live on. It is wrong to conclude that if you are not understood, perceived and supported now, then it is pointless to voice information. Copernicus was also not understood by contemporaries, but it was to him that subsequent generations owe achievements of man in space. This is where our actions follow, writing books and articles, improving financial literacy, 
public litigation, and other actions to form the information environment. This is what will create the right mentality of those who sooner or later will take over and manage. Don't be afraid to voice right principles, even if it would seem ridiculous in a cynical society. Intelligence wins over time, and time wins over everyone.